Hi everyone, I'm TC. Welcome back. If you're new to my channel, a very big welcome to you too. Now, I just wanted to show you a few pictures that I'd finished in my Millie Marotta's Tropical Wonderland colouring book. So to start with, we've got some lovely owls. I used Prismacolor coloured pencils for these and just a little bit of gel, metallic gel, to pick out some little details on the branch and on the little insects that I drew. Um, they're supposed to be dragonflies, but I'm not sure they actually look like dragonflies. That one looks a little bit frazzled. Um, so I don't know if you would just make out the little swirly bits that I did on the branch there in metallics, the gel pen. And on the backgrounds, I just used soft pastels just to fill in the white. Now this is a lovely picture. I think it's a tropical rainforest by the looks of it. I just used my uh, Prismacolors and just a tiny little bit of gel pen just to pick out some of the bright colours in the flowers. So I think that came out really nicely. This took me a very, very long time to complete. This literally took me weeks. So I was happy to finish it in the end because um, I don't like spending too much time on one picture. I just want to get it finished and get on to the next one. Now I'm not a mandala fan, but I did give this one a go. So yeah, nothing nothing great about that. It's just uh, Prisma Colors again. Um, that Ignore that, that's just my test page. These parrots were done in Prismacolors, a tiny little bit of um, gel pen there just to pick out some extra bright parts on the feathers on the crest of his head there, a little bit of yellow background, um, I used soft pastels for that. On this leopard or is he a tiger? It could be either, couldn't he? I'm not sure. Just again, Prismacolors. I did use a little bit of gel pen on his eyes because I was trying to get that sort of fiery, red, glowing sort of stare that they have, but I'm not sure whether that came out very well. Um, I don't know if the camera can pick that up, but they are sort of metallic in there. The red and the orange in the eyes is metallic. But I had a bit of a disaster with the background. I just used a green soft pastel and for some reason it just went on all sort of gritty you can see it's all like grainy and particles in it so that's not very good that wasn't very much of a success but yeah uh, yeah what can i say this one i'm really happy the way that this one came out i used really sort of muted colors bright but muted if that makes sense it's a bit of a contradiction i know but i wanted to give it like a sort of vintagey look so I, I tried to keep the colors sort of neutral bright if that makes sense no it doesn't make any sense whatsoever does it but anyway i think you get what i mean and i used a little bit of um gel pen just to pick out a few little highlights here and there but i think it came out really nice uh, i really do like this one get a closer look So I think all the colours look really nice together, they all work really well, the greens and the pinks look very nice, there's no reds in there or anything too dazzling bright, so I'm quite happy the way that one came out, that's exactly the way I wanted it to come out, so that doesn't happen too often with my colouring. Now these are just the cutest little bats ever, and that's why they're hanging upside down, because they're bats. So I, on their eyes I just used a tiny little bit of metallic gel just to sort of make their little eyes stand out i don't know if that you can i think you can see that yes so they look really nice with that metallic around their eyes look really cute i like the little faces they're really sweet and i really enjoyed doing this one again it's just um, prisma colors a little bit of gel metallic around the eyes and that's all really a little bit of um pastel i think for the background yeah, just soft pastel for the background. So that one came out quite nice. So I really like that. And I just think their little face, let me just turn it up the other way around so you can see how cute they are. There you go. Look at their little faces. Aren't they cute? I just think they're so cute. 
Let me see the little eyes glowing. And the little one there, the little red one, he's got sweet little, his eyes are half closed, but they're still really cute. So I think he's really, I think they're really cute. I like that. I think that's a really, really fun page to do. What have we got next? Let's have a look. Nothing on that one. So let's do this one. So we have a little bird in a nest. A little, I put that little dragonfly in there. Just gave it that little touch. I think it needed something. It looked like the bird should sort of be looking at something, so I just put that in front of him. He's probably going to eat it now, so I'm not sure that's such a good idea. Now, this was a lovely picture, but I spoilt it by using ink tents on those little lanterns in the middle, and I had way too much water on my brush, so it's all gone and fluffed up, and it's all sort of spoilt it now, and, you know, so the rest of it is all just... Prisma colours, but I think um, the colours and stuff are really nice. So I'm happy with the lovely colours, but the actual thing is is ruined. You can see it looks all dark and yucky in the middle. And I did use a soft pastel for that lilac-y colour in the background. Uh, this is another one that I tried to use my ink tense on, but again, it's sort of fluffed up on the on his little blue fin there. You can see it's kind of dark and roughed up a little bit. The rest of it's all just uh, Prisma colours, and yeah, just Prisma colours. Nothing else on there, no gels or anything. I think these are ibis really pretty I just used my Prisma colors and I did use a tiny little bit of ink tents but really quite dry I didn't you know I was really careful not to put too much water on the brush and that was just to make a few little dark marks on the flowers and stuff just to sort of make them come out a little bit more and the background is just soft pastel Now on this one, I decided not to do both the pages. It just got a little bit monotonous doing those grasses. They were a little bit boring. I did enjoy doing the little bugs. I think they were really sweet. And I did use a little bit of metallic on them as well. I'm not sure if that shows up. That was my just my gel pen. But as for the rest of it, I just couldn't face doing all that. It was a little bit too boring. Maybe I'll come back to it at another date. I don't know really. Probably won't, but um, yeah. And last of all, I've got these two. Now these come out really nicely. I'm so pleased with the results on this one. I used glitter, which I've never ever used in my colouring books before. I'll just see if you can see how that's all nice and sparkly there. I used such a tiny amount, I didn't want to make the mistake of overdoing it and spoiling it, so I just used a very minimal amount. And I think it looks quite nice, it looks like little bubbles coming up, so I think that's really, that came out really nicely. I used a little bit of silver in the middle there as well. And I'm really happy with the way that one came out, that's so pretty. And that's just all, um, I think that was just Prismacolors. Yeah, that's just Prismacolors. And a tiny little bit of gel pen, I think, just on their faces, just to pick out a few little sort of shiny bits on there. And this beautiful crab, a few little bits of loose glitter. That's the problem with the glitter. It doesn't matter how much you stick it down, you'll always get little loose bits, won't you? Anyway, that's okay. You can see them. And the little crab, I used pink glitter there, a few little loose bits still. And in the foreground, I just sprinkled some gorgeous orangey, what sort of colour is that? Uh, bronze? I'm not sure if that's bronze, but it's like a burnt orange colour. And I thought that would look really nice. It sort of looks like sand, you know, when the, the way when the tide goes out and you've got the little ripply sort of dipples left in the sand. I thought that looked just like sort of sand and stuff I thought that looked really nice and it's such a beautiful color and again I was very careful not to go overboard I 
didn't want to overdo it, so less is more. But I think that came out really nicely, and I'm so happy with that one. I love the colours, and that's all Prismacolors. A tiniest little bit of gel pen just to pick out some of the slightly darker colours on, you know, just a few little bits. But apart from that, I really like those too. I think they're lovely. I might use um, glitter a lot more in future, even though it's extremely messy. But I think that gave a beautiful effect, so I'm really happy with that one. So that's that for now. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, maybe you could give me a thumbs up. And if you really, really enjoyed it, maybe you could consider subscribing. That would be fantastic. So until next time, thank you all so much for watching. Bye.